Common Core is designed to ensure that students graduating from high school are prepared to take credit-bearing introductory courses in two- or four-year college programs or enter the workforce. These, ed these educational standards are the learning goals for what students should know and be able to do at each grade level. It helps teachers ensure that students have the skill and knowledge they need to be successful, and it also helps parents understand what is expected of their children. These standards are a clear expectation to ensure that all students have the skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in life upon graduation from high school, regardless of where they live. These standards promote um, equity of, by ensuring all students are well prepared to collaborate and compete with their peers in the United States and abroad. The Common Core was developed by building on the best state standards in the United States, examining the expectations of other high-performing countries around the world, and carefully studying the research and the literature available on what students need to know and be able to do to be successful in college, career, and life. 44 states, the District of Columbia, four territories, and the Department of Defense Education Activity have adopted the Common Core state standards. English language arts and math were the subjects chosen for the Common Core state standards because they are areas upon which students build skill sets that are used in other subjects. Students must learn to read, write, speak, listen, and use language effectively in variety of content areas. For Engl English language art standards, Common Core asks students to read stories and literature and will be challenged and ask questions that push them to refer back to what was read. This stresses critical thinking, problem solving, and to closely and attentively read tests in a way that will help them understand and enjoy complex works of literature. Review on the Common Core. Um, my review on the Common Core is that it's a new set of standards for education. It's a very broad question. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> But does the Common Core benefit the students? Oh, does the Common Core benefit the students? Oh, now I need to be a little more specific. Are we talking about language arts, math, history, science? Oh, for you, it'd probably be the, the English Common Core. English Common Core? Okay, so for language arts, as the Common Core likes to call us, um, it benefits teachers and students because it lets good teachers do what they've been doing but it lets them do it legally. Um, it lets us use more technology. It helps us emphasize that language arts is not just a reading class, but it is a reading, writing, speaking, listening class that emphasizes nonfiction non literacy skills. So those are like real events that occur. We want to read about news, about current events, um, everything from tweeting to eBay purchases instead of just classic literature and Shakespeare, which have their benefits as well. But Common Core gives us balance in the realm of literacy. Please excuse this interruption. Does Common Core apply to the this class? Time, please release all students participating in the assembly and the alternate. How does Common Core apply to the classrooms? Well, in my classroom, the Common Core is applied through our different um, reading and writing standards. So, what the Common Core means is that in the past, uh, different schools would have their curriculum outlined on like a quarter basis or a trimester basis. And then sometimes a bunch of schools in the same district would get together and the district would have the same benchmark. So all the students in the same district would be taught things in the same order, and the teachers would have to meet certain goals. So what the Common Core did was it brought a large group of teachers together, um, educational advisors together, people who are different stakeholders in the educational community, and they created this. You can read it. These are the Common Core standards for English, English language arts, literacy, history and social studies, science and technical subjects. So what this means is that if you are reading, writing, speaking, or listening in any class in the curriculum, your teacher should meet specific goals. Now, this isn't at a federal level, but it is at a nationwide level. So it was something where each state got a chance to help develop this, to get input into it. Um, teachers got the opportunity to look at these standards and revise them. And now, across the whole nation, 
if you are in 10th grade, then you'll have a set of objectives or things that you want to teach your students. So that what this means is that if you're a student and you move from district to district, or you move from New Mexico to Utah, or if you move from North Carolina to California, you should still be able to accomplish the same goals by the end of each grade level than if you were in a totally different place. So this is my book. And these are all of my standards for my classes. Now, these appendixes, they have things like glossaries and key terms. But basically, the Granite School District has done so kindly for us is they've taken all of these standards and they've placed them into specific quarters. So during specific quarters, we at Granite School Districts focus on specific common core standards. So, back to your question, what that means in the classroom, is that, that means that in the classroom, um, I have specific goals every day that I write down right there. There's my content objective, my language objective, and it means that my goals for my students are more specific, they're easier to measure, they're easier for my students to see, and easier for me to gauge student learning, and it's easier for my students to go from here to another school if they need to move. Would you change anything on the common core? Um, I'm not sure. For language arts, I love it because it helps me remember. Sometimes I forget because this is not the objectives I grew up with when I was in school. It helps me remind my students that this is not a reading class. This is a reading, writing, speaking, listening class. And those are all the things that we do. So in English, I love the common core. It lets me know what skills I'm teaching and choose the materials to teach those on my own. It doesn't allow anyone to force me to teach certain things. Um, but I know that there are people who have vastly different views for math, um, science, and history. So for my content area, which is English language arts, I love the Common Core, and I don't see any reason why every single state in the entire nation is not part of the Common Core. It makes perfect sense for what I'm teaching, for the goals, for the language, for the specificity of its use. However, I know that's not true for all the content areas. Does the Common Core prepare the students for the future? Um, well, as an educator, that's the goal. That's the assumption that by the time you leave high school, you are college and career ready. That's what the Common Core standards are, college and career readiness standards. But it takes you 12 years to get through your high school or your entire public education, right? So we won't know for 12 years. There is not a realistic way for me to say, I know the answer to that. This is a 12-year trial period, and then, you know, a lot of judgment after that. A lot of people will judge you based on... Um, college skills and test scores and job performance and the economy. So um, the Common Core was piloted for the first time in 2010, I believe. And 2011 was the second pilot year. Then it went into full force in 2012. And so we've had about two years where schools were supposed to be using the Common Core. And as you guys have probably known from some of your research, some schools have been more difficult persuade than others. So I, I would say, you know, we've gone through four years, the schools that have been on track and ready for this change from day one, you still have eight more years for those students. So eight more years until they graduate, and then probably another ten before we know. It's hard in education because we have to be very patient in order to collect realistic and reasonable valid data. For the mathematics standards, it is said by time to core standards to go provide clarity rather than broad general statements. These standards encourage students to solve real-world problems. <laughs> On the other hand, Senator Stosky says that Common Core's college readiness standards for English language arts and reading do not aim for a level of achievement that signifies for authentic college level work. They point to no more than readiness for high school diploma and possibly not even that, depending on where the cut score on tests based on these standards is set. 
the federal government's creation of national curricular material through contractors and its control and oversight of testing and data collection and its tests written to federal nationalized standards are in violation of three existing laws. And CLB, the Department of Education, Organization Act, and the General Education Provisions Act. States have a responsibility to protect the balance of powers granted in the Constitution.